Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In uh, today's video, I will show you how to install Windows Server 2003 on uh, Apple ARM. So natively, it cannot run on uh, Apple ARM, even though you're going to try it to run on a virtual box or um, VMware or uh, Parallel. The problem is uh, architecture for the Windows Server is uh, x86 and uh, Apple using AR ARM is not compatible. Uh, however, with UTM, uh, we can emulate the uh, x86 on ARM. You e emulate the uh, x86 on ARM, it kind of slow. It, it really depends on uh, if your hardware uh, supporting it. If you have a fast CPU and a lot of memory, uh, definitely usable. Um, however, if you have limited resources, it's usable, but uh, you just have to be patient. It's probably going to be a little bit slower. So some of the requirements before we can uh, start it, uh, you will need a UTM entirely on your Mac. You can download it directly from uh, store. Uh, if you're not uh, using App Store like I do, you can uh, download the UTM directly from their uh, GitHub, or they have a, the package uh, on their website that you can download uh, using the uh, package installation channel as well. Uh, next step is to um, create a virtual machine. I already have a virtual uh, machine template for you, so you don't have to uh, set all the uh, settings that appropriately for Windows Server 2003 to run on uh, UTM. I wish I could uh, just share the whole um, VM with you. Unfortunately, doing so, it can uh, get into some legal litigation with Microsoft, and uh, I'm tr not trying to do that. All right, you would download the VM template and keep it in the download folder. And uh, if you keep it in the download folder, you would use the command below to extract and copy that into the UTM folder. Uh, if you uh, set it in anywhere else besides the download folder, you would have to uh, change the command line, uh, modify it to uh, whatever suit you. All right, so we're gonna open up a uh, terminal. I already have it downloaded. So we're gonna paste the first command that's going to create the uh, um, Windows Server 2003 UTM uh, within the UTM uh, folder. And next, we can open the Windows Server 2003 UTM without have to navigate through all the local folder. And next, we're going to adjust some uh, setting uh, for the UTM. So the template already come with all the setting that needed to run Windows Server 2003 on your UTM. The only thing you would need to do is navigate out to uh, try and then select uh, the first one, uh, CD. You would uh, have to uh, select the Windows Server ISO in here. And for the second one, uh, by default, I set this at uh, 20 gigabyte. However, you can resize it to whatever required for your project. And once you've done that, we can save it. All right, and next we're gonna start the VM. I'm gonna minimize uh, the Firefox so it make it a little bit clearer. So this is just a typical uh, window installations. You just proceed with the installation as you would on any uh, typical x86 machine. Uh, just follow the on-screen prompts and uh, select uh, a partition to format it and continue uh, through the installation process. If you need to uh, press uh, the function key on a uh, MacBook, if you're on the laptop, uh, you, you will need to press uh, the function key, the FN, and then select FA. We're just going to do a quick uh, NTFS uh, format. All right, we're going to select next, and then input our name, and then you would uh, create your administrator password. All right, we're going to keep it the uh, default network setting. And then default setting. All right, and now we're going to press uh, Control Alt and uh, delete to uh, lock in. If you're on a Mac computer, that would be uh, Control Options and the function key and delete. And then you would uh, enter your password. All right, and next we're going to select the CD icon up here, and then we're going to eject the uh, Windows 2003 uh, ISO. 
And one more time, we're going to select the CD icon and we're going to select install window guest tool. All right. And we're going to double click on the UTM guest tool. All right. We're going to select yes and select yes one more time. And after you finish with installation of uh, window guest tool, you should restart your VM for it to take effect. I'm going to select uh, restart. And that concluded uh, today's video. If you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.